the first U.S. commercial moon lander, Odysseus also known by its nickname, O.D. Odysseus, a 13-foot-tall Nova C-class lander, was launched six days ago, on February 15, atop a Falcon 9 rocket built and flown by Elon Musk's California-based company SpaceX from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Intuitive Machines successfully transmitted its first IM-1 mission images to Earth on February 16, 2024. The landmark moment is time for the arrival of the full snow moon on Saturday, a phase that sees the entire Earth-facing side of the moon including Malapert A bathed in sunlight. OD is expected to work for one lunar day about 14 Earth days. During the final descent, Odysseus will use a series of terrain relative navigation cameras and lasers to track its approach to the lunar surface. Its throttled engine will fire continuously to slow its fall by about 1,800 meters per second in a maneuver similar to that used by NASA's Apollo landers, the company said. The crater is about 43 miles wide and is a satellite of the larger Malapert crater nearby. Near Malapert A, there's also an area called Malapert Massif, a lunar mountain that rises up 16,400 feet above its base. This location is on NASA's shortlist for the Artemis III crewed lunar landing mission. After a planned nine-day trip to the moon, Odysseus is expected to last for about seven days on the lunar surface, according to a mission overview. The mission will end once the two-week-long lunar night begins because Odysseus isn't expected to survive the harsh, cold lunar night. Incredible view. Just a few moments ago, our flight controllers inside of Nova Control heard that confirmation of launch vehicle separation. This starts the countdown toward our lunar lander's autonomous commissioning. During this milestone, the lander is going through the steps required to power on, determine its position relative to the sun, and make communications contact with flight controllers in Nova Control. 